Hello everyone, so um, sorry for the slow voice, it's night here, so I don't want to make too much noise, but I wanted really to make this video for you, uh, because I finally bought Father Immortal, I know it's a bit late, but I skipped it, always for some work to do, and since Oculus gave me uh, something like 8-9 euros to, to spend on the store, I decided to buy it, to finally try it. And so after this introduction, you will see some the first minutes of the gameplay of the adventure and my first minutes in the lightsaber dojo. Uh, but before going to them, so how it is, um, I think it's a pretty valid experience, so it's worth at 8 9 euros for sure. Especially if you're a Star Wars fan, I think you will love it because there are some moments like when you have a lightsaber in the hand and you light it for the first time, it's it's priceless and having father in front of you, dark father, so big, so black, so scary, just in front of you is something that when I watched uh, Star Wars as a child for the first time I really wanted to probably try it so very very cool really and so uh, even just these moments are worth the price uh, speaking about the two parts of the experience, so the storytelling one and then the lightsaber dojo, so the action one. Um, I once said that the experience is so and so and the lightsaber dojo is cool, so I had some kind of expectations and probably I don't agree on the storytelling one, I think it's pretty cool. And the lightsaber dojo, I expected it to be a bit better. Probably I had too high expectation reading what journalists for it uh, have written. But anyway, it's cool. So the storytelling, it's a story about you that got kidnapped by the father and the empire to um, do some tasks with you thanks to your special forces. I don't want to spoiler something so I'll just leave everything <laughs> so without specifying the exact plot um, I can sp only spoiler that uh, some uh, you know some encounter with father and some lightsabers and it's it's pretty cool I will always also spoiler that there is a moment with uh, Quill so there is a at a certain point you meet a character and this character tells you a story and uh, you see the story all painted with quill like I don't know like dear Angelica or something like that and it's incredibly cool it's very well modeled and it's very nice to see it uh, this world uh, appearing like with brushes all around you it's cool um, then this the storytelling part you also have some kind of little interactivities or some uh, a little fight with the lightsaber, some interaction where you climb with ladders, with touch buttons, this kind of stuff that keeps you entertained while you follow the plot. Sometimes it's a bit dull, so I, sometimes I really want to say, okay, just to make this stupid little interaction, just guide me. Uh, I'm already interested in the plot, you don't need to make me do something every two seconds, some stupid actions. But other times, like the fighting with the lightsaber is, is pretty cool. Uh, what has disappointed me of that part actually is the, the graphics. You, I tried it on Quest, you know, the Quest has very degraded graphics, and so um, the result is. Um, so at the point, there is a droid saying, uh, Look, this wonderful landscape. I watched it and I was like, what is this graphics of the Nintendo 64? I don't know, it was really very mobile graphics. I was like, this is not a cool landscape. The one of Half-Life Alex is a cool landscape. This is just graphics. <laughs> CGI. Um, but for the rest, the plot is interesting. I finished that you are curious to know what is going to happen. It's cool to meet father. It's cool to have a lightsaber. The interactions keep you alive during the experience, so I really liked it. It's like 45 minutes of search, the storytelling part, and it's nice, actually, I liked it. For the lightsaber dojo, you arrive there at the end of the, um, of the storytelling, and you can play it wherever you want. You have these waves of enemies, of droids, of training droids that you have to fight, and they always... Uh, it's very simple in the beginning, and a wave after wave becomes more complicated. 
Um, at the beginning, it's pretty boring. I have to say that I was like, why this, all these people are excited about this? Just some balls that you have to slice with the lightsaber. It's boring. Also, because you can't move in a big space. You can just stay in one meter for one meter area and just wave your lightsaber. But after some time, you start having some interesting droids that you have to fight, and that becomes interesting and pretty cool. And what is good is that if you die, you don't have to start again from scratch. Even if you close Father Immortal, you start for the wave or you die last time. So um, you don't have to start from the boring balls again. So the boring balls are okay to get trained to the, with your lightsaber, and then you can just fight the droids, have these big waves of. Uh, enemies and you move a lot you start sweating uh, it's pretty cool and interesting so um, yeah and I think that this experience is really worth the money so on the only really real problem is the graphics of the quest and sometimes the quest is a bit slow this kind of stuff but for the rest very polished um, probably since I always like to spare money I will prefer to have it at half of the price like five euros but even for eight or nine whatever it is it's it's uh, something worth trying and if you haven't bought it yet like me i think it's it's cool the problem if you buy the first one is that at the end you really want also to try the the second one <laughs> so in the end you spend 30 euros so that's it for this short review uh, i hope you liked it and now i'll leave you with two videos with um storytelling uh, storytelling part so like 10 minutes of search with storytelling and five minutes of search with a lightsaber dojo with no commentary so that you can enjoy it for what it is and i hope you like this video if it is the case at the end of it please like and subscribe so enjoy this star wars video Spice crates at Shadow Market. We are sitting pretty. You know, maybe then you can make those uh, repulsor lift upgrades you've been promising me forever. You know, and forever and ever. You know, it looks like we're gonna be in hyperspace for a while here, so feel free to go back and check our loot. You name it. Sky's the limit. Now 
idea. Junk Peddler said it was some kind of unfair artifact, but I don't know. Who knows? Although, you know what? Let's go along with that. Make the, make the Junk Peddler's day. Ah, the hand of Saint Scorpus. All that trouble on Jetta just to steal an artifact that nobody even wanted. I mean, how was I supposed to know the locals considered it cursed? I don't know everything. A little heads up from the hand would have been nice. Harvest Classic? I know I do. Because I've never seen a human able to handle a pod racer before. Nobody there had. Somehow, you did it. You were terrible at it and we lost a ton of credits, but still, you know what? It's an accomplishment. Small, but important. However, please don't do it again. hand with this. Can you come help me? Oh, Scrag. Looks like we took some damage back there. Well, I try to reroute the power. Why don't you go ahead and scan the ship? Well, looks like the main sensor antenna has been damaged. All right. Let's switch to backup. Okay, you can activate the switch, and we'll see if they're in. Okay, let's do the next one. Switching to defense systems. Well, the deflector shields are totally offline. One more hit, and we would have been toast. Let's shut them down until we can get them repaired. Something's wrong, Captain. Let's go check it out. Admiral Carius of the Galactic Empire. Surrender control of your ship immediately. This is ZOE3, first mate on the Windfall. Zoe to my friends. Uh, there must be some mistake, Admiral. The Windfall is a humble salvage vessel. Any sort of immediate compliance will result in your destruction. My bad, Admiral. Sorry about that. Slaving our ship's guidance to your Imperial control now. Oh, Scrag. We didn't do anything that bad. Whoa! Whoa, that looks like... That looks like Mustafar. Mustafar's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? I 
feeling about this, Captain? Worried, Captain. Open your doors. Oh, oh, uh, just, just a moment. Sorry, we're having. Oh. Hi. A uh, uh, Don't move, scum. You've caused us considerable inconvenience, smuggler. Smugglers? Who said we were smugglers? Smugglers. smugglers? Take them both to the holding cells. Thank you. 